Welcome back to the video guys. If you're new here, I'm Tina and I am filming this intro from Lake Norman, North Carolina. So my friend Michelle and I are on a road trip. By the time you guys are seeing this video, we will have just wrapped up or will be wrapping up uh, Peaches to the Beaches 2024 in Georgia. So right now we're currently um, traveling uh, to Georgia. So we stayed in Lake Norman, North Carolina for the evening. We did a little thrifting in Virginia yesterday and the next clip you're gonna see is from one of the thrift stores uh, where we found quite a bit. Three of the stores we found nothing. So there's no clips from, from that, that's boring. Um, but yeah, so the one we did find quite a bit, which you'll see next. Um, and now this morning we are going to be checking out of the hotel pretty soon and heading to some thrift stores here in Lake Norman, North Carolina, uh, Lake Norman, Mooresville area. And then we are going to finish our trip down to Georgia where we're gonna do a little bit more thrifting. And uh, yeah, I will take you guys along. We'll have at least one, possibly two thrifting videos. Not quite sure yet. It all depends on how the thrift stores treat us. <laughs> um, and yeah, and then we are going to be starting the Peaches to the Beaches yard sale. So it is um, March 8th and 9th, but I think there are a few things going on on the 7th, which is tomorrow on Thursday. Uh, so we'll see what we'll see what we can uh, find tomorrow. Okay, guys, we are at a Goodwill in Virginia. Don't mind me, I look like a mess. Been driving for about four hours at this point. Um, I have some stuff in my cart. Wasn't sure if I was gonna find anything here. Um, but picked two of these up and I had to go get a cart. These are $6.99 a piece. Fiesta. They um, seem to be selling on eBay for about 30 plus shipping. So I think I am going to grab every single one of these. <laughs> they have some other sets. They don't seem to do as well. They also have some towels. $6.99. And they also have some single towels over there, but um, I can't look anything up in here, but my friend looked those up. This Harley flag, $2.99. This little guy is marked Arthur something or other. So I'm gonna take a chance on him. A pair of SAS shoes for $4.99 because these look like they are in mint condition. And this real tree, I don't know, it's a fishing shirt, but it's new with tide, so we're gonna we're gonna see. So my friend's grabbing some fiesta wear towels too. Um, these pieces are all individual. It looks like certain ones would sell for like 30 as a set, but we're gonna pay more for them if we do it that way. It would be like 10 bucks a set. So I'm not I'm not real sure what I'm going to do as far as that goes, but I am going to take these for sure. Um, and I'm going to keep looking around for a minute. There's some new bed stuff. I don't really recognize any of those brands. Layer 8 cotton shirts, $9.99. Oh, she's taking all these. I knew these were going to be. How much are these going for? 25. 25 of towel? Uh, no, 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 no. 25 oh, of with the. Two towels. So, two towels. Okay, I knew the ones with Fiesta, though, would do well. So my friend's grabbing these. Huh? These are so springy. Springy? Like, you know, it's perfect to. I'm not going to take them all, though. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just going to take six. Are you taking that color or Both. six of each color? Six of each color. Do, what do these sell for? I think it's the same thing, but set of two. 
set of two for 25. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. It would be six bucks for a set of two. And I'm gonna take like six of those. Okay, what are these going for? The same thing yours does, but does not sell as frequent as yours. Gotcha, okay. Okay. All right. Not bad. What else did you find? What's in your bag here? Super Mario. Oh, the backpack. You already paid for that. Okay. All right. Not bad. Oh, okay. All right, guys. So oh, this is pretty cool. Pretty excited about this. Should have started filming earlier, but we did go into two stores and I didn't find a thing and neither did she. And then I forgot about filming by the time I came into this one. These I'm really unsure of, but I'm going to get them. Okay, guys. So I also just picked up these two, the last two in this uh, colorway, which is Santa Fe Stripe. We'll see. And I picked up this sweater, Cotton Country by Parkhurst. Uh, I never heard of it. It is a size small, but it's got a $90 original price tag on it. And people love cats. $5.99. So I'm going to grab that. Um, I just, I don't know if it's this area, but I have like zero service in this place. For some reason, my friend's phone is working. It could be because I've had directions on my phone for the past four hours that we have been driving. But yeah, I'm going to check out... Um, a couple more areas maybe in the clothing and then uh then gonna head out of this one all right just walking by the men's shoes and i noticed these birkenstock sneakers for 9.99 i wish i knew what town i was in i'll have to tell you guys later uh these are not bad for 10 bucks i'm gonna grab these really don't know Somewhere in Virginia, that's all I'm gonna say for now. Maybe I'll be able to throw it up on the, throw it up on the screen, and let you know where I'm at. But this is the first store that seems to be doing well. Goodwill is coming through. We have a couple more to stop at. Mm. I don't really want to search through men's clothes, but maybe I should. Seems like a decent store. We were trying to concentrate mainly on hard goods so we could get back on the road. Because every stop is taking us, you know, a little more time. And um, we have an eight-hour trip to the first place that we're staying in North Carolina this evening all right Eddie Bauer boxers 9.99 lots of real tree lots of uh, lots of men's underwear all right so we are in a North Carolina value village right now music's kind of loud i'm just going to try to film in snippets they have these bee and willow flatware sets for 19.99 which i believe came from target but they have a nice christmas tree pattern and i'm really thinking about getting one of these of course i have no cell phone service in here to look anything up but i might grab one of these anyway these are kind of cool these london shower curtains 6.99 I think they're pretty neat. I actually like that. They're just plastic. Again, probably sold at Target at one point. They're like the showcase merchandise. Okay, some of this stuff might actually be Walmart clearance as well. These bike tires look like they are uh, Walmart, perhaps. Leather care kits, cured water filters. I could probably use those. $1.99 is not a bad deal, to be honest. They have a lot of these shoes. Um, they all say Falls Creek. So I'm not sure what store sells those, but they are like all, all Falls Creek. <laughs> like a whole row of them. I feel like they don't even have much donated goods here because most of this stuff looks like store clearance. 
some alegrias down there for $7.99 and I already forget what color is on sale. Um, I don't remember. Okay guys, so still looking around this store. I just found these Legos for $3.99. They're both new and sealed. These sell for about $20-$25. box and all of these vintage goody like ponytail holders from the 90s i think i'll probably like make lots of these they're all between 59 cents and 99 cents a pack so these are the ones that i got so far these have like these jacks inside and some of these little scotty dog clips my friend um my friend got a couple of these, but I'm gonna get a couple more that I see over there, but I had to come grab a cart. So I'm not sure where they got all these vintage hair accessories, but this is like where they are. Even these like Revlon things are pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I might pick out a few more. Actually, yeah, I think I'm gonna get a couple more of these goody Scotty dog hair clips. These aren't going to bring millions, but just easy all around. All right, just swinging back through the shoes, and I just came across these Vints. They're a very small size, size 5, but they're $6.99. Really good shape. And then these Abios. Um, not too shabby for $3.99. I don't know what these are. These are very generic. They're cute. They're kind of cute. Boutique by Corky's. I don't think they're the Corky's with the K, so I don't know. I'd have to look these up. I'm not sure about those. Dex tracks report. Lottie Moss Minnetonka. That's kind of an interesting collaboration. They look a little dirty though with the tops. Sandal season's coming. Prices are kind of all over the place, but I think these are a really nice looking shoe. So for $6.99. I think I'm gonna get these. These are a women's size seven. And I just think they're super cute. I don't know if you can see how cute they are, but they're cute. Col colors probably look better in person. All right, so I just found these chocolate blue. I'm pretty sure these are sold at Anthropology. These are in really good condition for $3.99, so I'm gonna grab those as well at the next goodwill in lake norman really cute store i mean look at this oh wow look at this scentsy warmer i wonder if it's in here under my spell so that's like a halloween one i hope it's in there it's seven dollars that's not bad can't open this cart up they have it zip tied that's weird all right, I'm going to put that in the cart. Try to open it up real quick. It's in there. It looks good. It doesn't look like it's ever been used. Heck yeah. It's a nice first find at the Goodwill. Here they have some dinnerware. Nico, and they have it priced for $75 for the set, it looks like. No, thank you. <gasps> Look at this. It's another Scentsy Warmer. And it's a cat. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. I hope that one's in there as well. Let's take a quick look and open this. Open this guy up. do it with one hand. I should strap this to my uh, jacket real quick. 
I'm ruining the um, styrofoam. It's in there! It's all good! It doesn't really look like it's been used, but it does look like it's been opened. Maybe it was like a display. Could have been a display. I wonder if I'll find any more. Two, two, two. This is so cute. Oh, it's very lightweight though. I think it's plastic. It is. It's plastic. A little planter. Eldrith pottery. Oh, it's got some wear. I don't know if it's enough wear to keep me from buying it. Um, that's actually not even wear. I think it's more of like an imperfection. I think I'm going to grab that. Planting season is coming up. I am liking this Goodwill so far. Looks like we have positive inspiration. This is a Jim Shore. I don't ever really pick up the Jim Shore angels because they're just not hot sellers. Holy moly. Look at this. Yankee Candle. It's probably broken. It is broken, I think. Unless that's just the coloration of it. I think it's just the coloration. I don't think it's broken. Oh, this is broken. Whatever. Whatever was on top of this is broken, unfortunately. <laughs> I mean, and these don't sell like they used to, but I still would have picked this up. Oh, this one's actually linens and things. It's not even Yankee Candle. Really? It's like Yankee Candle. All right. I think that's it for this aisle. Okay, so this is Wedgwood, and I'm looking. I thought maybe these were priced for the set, but this one says 85. This one says 125. Like, I think these are individually priced. And they have a thick layer of dust on them, probably from sitting here. Those are kind of neat lamps up there. $25 a piece, but I am not grabbing those right about now. So yeah, I didn't find a lot in here. The music is super loud, so I'm not filming a whole lot, but still have the same stuff in my cart. I like how their shoe pricing is like a flat rate, except for special finds priced individually, but those are not bad prices. Okay guys, so I feel like I look really far away and I have this ring light on, so it's gonna give me like circles, but I am trying to lighten up the area. So I just finished um, day one of yard sailing here in Georgia. It is Thursday, March 7th. Uh, today is not one of the actual days, but people were starting to set up. We got into um, quite a few sales. But anyhow, that'll be in the next that'll be in the next video. I am going to go through my thrift haul for you guys in no particular order. But we're just gonna go through this real quick thrifting was rough it was pretty much the same as it is in our area it's hit or miss and a lot of times it is miss but <laughs> we just ended up with a lot of junk anyhow um but anyway this is my haul so let's get into it like I said, no particular order. Some of the stuff you've seen on camera, most of it you've probably seen on camera, but anyhow, I got this Harley Davidson decorative flag for $2.99 at one of the Goodwills. I think this was the Goodwill in Virginia. Um, I'm actually pretty certain it was, and you guys did see a lot of this stuff, possibly most of it. These are Robert Stanley four salad dessert plates. They were $5.99. I don't think these are going to go for a crazy amount. Super cute Christmas pattern now. I'm going to try to go through this fairly quick. It has been a very long day. Yeah, I've been up for almost 14 hours already. And we were driving and yard sailing for about 12 of them. Okay, next is a pair of men's Birkenstocks, Birkenstock sneakers, which 
I don't think I've ever come across the Birkenstock sneakers. They look like they're in pretty darn good condition. These were $9.99. Not too shabby. This was on a rack that was rolled out right before I left the store. This is a um, altered state size small dress. How much was this? $6.49. I just thought it was kind of cute with the little um, like pockets with the floral on there. Okay, then this, I have no idea about this guy. I really do have to look him up. This Santa, he reminds me of someone, but I am really going to have to figure him out. He was $1.99. He is signed Arthur something by the looks of it. I'm going to have to see if I can find anything. I just decided to take a chance and grab him. The Fiesta towels. You guys saw all of the Fiesta. I bought tons of these. Uh, I don't even know how many I ended up getting, but it was quite a, quite a few, which again was in the video. So I'm not going to dwell on those. These are a pair of the SAS shoes, and these look brand new. Like they are excellent, and these were uh, $4.99. What size are they? I don't even know what size they are. Sometimes, you, yes, these are an 8WW, so like an extra wide. So that's definitely better than finding narrows. I didn't even look at the size when I purchased those. Okay, then for more of this haul, I did get this sweater. I thought this was super cute. It is new with the tags, $5.99, long sleeve, size small, but it's got this cat on it. Uh, I've never really heard of this brand, but it's called Shadow Cat Pullover Top fashion gallery it was $89.99 wherever it was sold it's got a couple more tags on it cotton country by parkhurst size small so i decided to give it a shot for what was it $5.99 this is a real tree i have no idea i could not look up like anything in that store my phone was not working well it it worked maybe once or twice my friend's phone was working a little bit we had really bad service through most of like north carolina south carolina virginia like that pretty much most of the trip i don't know if the phones were like overheated from using them for so much like you know the gps and everything like that but this is a real tree though it's a fishing top so that's why i grabbed it fishing season's kind of coming up it was 5.99 and it is new with the tags but I don't know. I don't know if that was the best idea. Oh, I was looking for that water bottle. Um, the rest are, I have this color, which I'm going to pair with those towels. And the rest is more of those sets. I think that's all I have in that bag. Okay, uh, one of the stores, I did, this was on camera too, I grabbed this Salmon Falls Pottery Little Planter. Oh no, this is Eldrith, I'm sorry. Eldrith and Salmon Falls are all this like salt glaze blue color, so I get them confused once in a while, but oh, and you know what, I think this is marked second. That's what that says down there, and I didn't even realize that in the store, and this was $4, but we'll see planting season is also coming up it is like in full effect in georgia i saw a plant stand on the side of the road selling plants okay so we also have a pair of timberland earth keeper boots i picked these up i paid a lot for these i paid 15 dollars for these but that is because they are brand new and i think that they'll do okay i think i'll get 50 bucks for these plus shipping they're a good size they're a size eight so that's a good size. Okay, you guys did see this. Also the same place I got that Eldrith. I got this Scentsy Under My Spell um, Scentsy Warmer for $7. And I also got this cat. 
It is very superstitious, also for $7. That was not bad for Scentsy Warmers. These may not sell right away because they're kind of fall themed and people are we're going into spring, but you know what? This stuff also sells year round. Okay, this was at a store where I did not film. I picked this up. It is a Anthropology Olivia Wendell. Um, I paid $9.99 for this. I don't know if it's a tunic. It is a size small. So it could even be like a short, short dress because you never know. You know how, how people wear things these days. But I thought it was super cute with the zebra print all over it. Like how adorable is that? Okay, lastly, this is the last bag and I think that, I got some of this on camera, but maybe not all. So, my phone was not working well in this store either, but I did get two of these Lego cities that seem to sell for about $20 plus shipping or 25 free shipping. These are both um, chicken hen house. These were $3.99 a piece. I got a bunch of these hair ties. I'm not gonna bring out everyone, but I got a bunch of them. Some are 59 cents, some are a dollar. I'm gonna kind of like make lots of them. It was kind of a silly little purchase, but I don't know. I think some of these are fun. We were kind of grasping for straws at one point. So now as far as shoes that I picked up, I got these Boutique by Corky's. These were $6.99, but I, I love these. What size are they? They are a size seven. And, and then I got these Crocs. I actually, I wanted to look these up. My phone wasn't working. Some, these absolutely look new without tags, women's size nine. Some of these Crocs um, with like the wedges can do really well. At least they did for a while. And I wanted to see if that was still the case, but uh, my phone wasn't working. I ended up just leaving them in my cart and getting them. They were $7.99. I don't even know what size these things are. They, oh, they're a women's nine. I may have just looked and said that, but I am very tired. Uh, this has been a long trip so far. It's just been hours and hours and hours of driving each day and I am exhausted. Okay, next is a pair of chocolate blue, size eight. These are very, very gently used. These were $3.99. I think these may have been sold at Anthropology but I'm not 100% sure. Next, Avio Biosystem. These are kind of like one of those orthopedic type brands. These were $3.99 as well. These sandals and they are size nine neutral. It says N and some people think that that's narrow, but it's not. Um, this brand goes by neutral and M, which is another word. It's not medium, but anyhow. These are the shoes. And then I found these, these are cute. Where is the other one? These Vince flats for $6.99. They are a size five, I believe. These are super small, but they're really cute. They're really cute. And these were $6.99. Uh, yeah, and the rest is the hair ties here. I think that may be my thrift haul. I have bags all over right now, but I can't tell if it came from today or yesterday or, it's like this whole big conglomeration right now. Um, you guys will, you guys will see in one of the other videos. So funny, so funny. It's, it's a good thing that we are not, that my friend and I are not easily embarrassed hauling all this junk around. <laughs> but okay guys, so that was it. There um, there were a ton of stores that we went into and got zero. I mean, zilch nothing. Uh, but yeah, we got a few things that were fun. So, all right. Until the next one, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this road trip thrifting video. Kind of, uh, I don't know, a little bit different. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you've liked this video, please give me a thumbs up, comment, 
subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit that little bell button so you get notification every time I upload and until next time.